B-plus trees. Up to now we've been looking at the ISAM, which is a dated and not very useful data structure. Now let's look at the B-plus tree, which is a successor to the ISAM that's quite a bit more useful. It's similar to ISAM in a number of ways. It has the same interior node structure, so it's made up at its interior node of key page pointer pairs, and we have the same invariant that things down the pointer are greater than or equal to the value of the key. It's got the same search routine as before, except for the fact that we won't have any overflow pages to deal with. The main distinction of the B-plus tree is that it's a dynamic data structure. It's always balanced, even in the face of insertions and deletions, and the algorithms for insert and delete are efficient. A characteristic of the B-plus tree that distinguishes it from data structures you might have learned in a algorithms class is that it splits at the root, and that's the way that it grows. We'll see that uh, as we study insertion. Why the name B-plus tree? Where's the plus from? Well, the original B tree had data stored uh, at interior nodes. The B plus tree is a variant on the B tree where all data is stored at the leaves. And we'll see that this is useful for range search. Here's an example of a B plus tree. One of the interesting facts about a B plus tree is that it has an occupancy invariant. We didn't have this with the ISAM. So it's an invariant, a rule, that says the occupancy, or the fill factor of each node, must be at least one half the capacity of the node. That is, the number of entries is between some number d and 2d, which is the maximum for the node. d is called the order of the tree. That word order is a useful word to know. And the maximum fan out for a tree with order d is 2d plus 1, the plus 1 being the leftmost pointer on the page. The data pages at the bottom of a B-plus tree, distinguished from an ISAM, need not be stored on disk in the order they're in at the leaf of the tree. So for example, you can see in this B plus tree that page 3 is a neighbor of page 5 at the leaves, and of course they're separated by page 4 on disk. Um, but the previous and next pointers, here shown in green and red, allow us to traverse the leaf level of the B plus tree uh, rightwards or leftwards as needed. Okay, what is the value of D in this example above? Well, we see that there's as many as five pointers per page. And we know that's 2d plus 1 equals 5. So 2d is 4, and therefore d must be 2. So this is a b-tree of order 2. Why isn't the root at least half full? Well, the root's a special case in the b-plus tree. We're not going to require the root to be half full. Every other interior node has to be half full. And that's going to give us our asymptotic bounds. As the tree grows, the interior nodes grow. There's more and more interior nodes. There's always only one root. So no matter how big the tree goes, we only have one exception. And it doesn't affect our guarantees of, say, logarithmic search. And why is the leaf level not in sequential order? Why not pack it together like an ISAM? And the reason for that is exactly because it's a dynamic data structure. We're going to do insertions over time into this B-tree, and uh, it's going to force us to allocate pages that may be far away from previous insertions, uh, and so there may be gaps across the uh, leaf level on disk, and we deal with that with the previous and next pointers. Okay, let's talk about B-plus trees and how they scale. So here's a height 1 B plus tree. How much does it hold? Well, it's got order 2, which means fan out 5 to D plus 1. And it's height 1, so it's got a root and 5 leaves, 5 leaves each of which hold 4 records. And so that's a total of 20 records here. Now let's look at a height 3 B plus tree with the same order. So it's order 2. But now with height 3, we've got a root node with 5 fan out. The layer below it has nodes with fan out 5. The layer below that has nodes with fan out 5. So we have 5 cubed fan out in the uh, interior nodes. And at the leaves, we have 4 records per leaf. So that's 5 cubed times 4 is 625 records. OK, so that gives you a sense that things are scaling quite nicely. But how does this play out in practice? So in practice, the typical order of a B tree, let's say on a 128 kilobyte page, might be something like 1,600 entries. Now, if you go out and you look at a B tree in the wild, sort of one that's been facing lots of insertions and deletions, you'll find that it's typically about 2 thirds full. So the average fan out then is about 2144. Okay. And with typical capacities then, height one is 2144 squared. So that's the root and then uh, that many entries, let's say per leaf. That's over four and a half million records in a height one B plus tree. In a height two B plus tree, it's almost 10 billion records. So you can see that B plus trees can be very short and it holds enormous numbers of records. And our paths to the leaves of these B plus trees will remain very short. So it's a very efficient way to get access to records within a very big file. 